here's a quick look at setting up MIDI in Ableton Live. First up is the screen on the Osmos. You're gonna hit the M button, and then you're gonna hit the gear icon. And under MIDI IO settings, I have USB Haken mode set to note and matrix, and Haken local control is set to off. Also, you could set the external clock source. If you set it to USB Haken, the tempo will then follow Ableton. You can also just go to the arpeggiator section and click the tempo encoder, and it'll switch between MIDI clock and internal. Okay, now we're in Ableton Live. We're gonna go over to Preferences, and we're gonna go to the MIDI tab. We're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna check Osmos port one in and MPE, and Osmos port two in and MPE. Then we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna check Osmos port one and Osmos port two for our outputs. If you're using the internal engine of the Osmos, uh, you're gonna wanna use port two uh, for your in and for your out. And you're gonna wanna use port one when you're using another plugin, like say Equator. Port one seems to work much better than port two when you're using other plugins. And I probably don't have to have port one active for the output, but I just leave it anyway. Now we're over to track settings, uh, MIDI from Osmos port two, and then I like to add an external instrument and MIDI to Osmos port two, and then you select MPE, and then you go back and you select MPE settings. This is very important. MIDI lower zone should be selected. First note channel, channel two, last note channel, channel 14. So click okay. I'm going to select my audio input. Okay, let's record something. Okay, and we are recorded. This is a project I was working on that has a couple of tracks of Osmos that I recorded with MIDI and then converted to audio. And then here is our new track where we just recorded the MIDI. So here's what it sounds like. This is what's working for me right now. So let me know in the comments if you found a better way or some other techniques that you like to use. Thanks.